Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new anime from director Yusuke Hirota Popel of Chimney Town. And this is a steampunk sci-fi dystopia. Yes, right up my alley. And this, I did commit the cardinal sin and go to the theater and watch this dubbed. Only person in the theater. But I have to say, it had Steven Root and Tony Hale in it, so I feel like I won out on some level. But yes, I did watch this dubbed, I did not watch this subbed. Some of it, like there's musical numbers at a couple points, which there's an opening Halloween music number that is killer, and it was so much fun. I definitely want to listen to it, obviously, it was in Japanese. Uh, but you have this film that's about this young man whose father has been dead for a year, who is this big, wonderful man who dreamed of stars in this authoritarian dystopia where you only know this city and its chimneys and the smoke cloud that surrounds it. And this young boy, Lubichi, wants to try to find the stars, and all of a sudden this strange artifact comes from the sky and into a giant junkyard and then turns itself into a garbage man who then befriends Lubichi and they try to free this city of its oppressors, these like secret police people, um, these who are in like these um, ornate kind of robes and stuff like that. And this is so beautifully animated, it's a mix of 2D and 3D and it works so well together. The steampunk setting is perfect. It has a great theme at the core of it in terms of like like this anti-authoritarianism and it really works so well and it's well thought out and has weight to it. It doesn't pull punches and I think that's the important thing. And you know, Garbage Man and Lubichi are so fleshed out. Their relationship is so endearing and this friendship that grows between them is so wonderful and sweet and you just feel for them and you want them to succeed in this journey and you have this whole cast of like chimney sweeps and group of kids and Lubichi's mother and these authoritarian people you have a digger guy like a miner who's a mole and you have all these different characters that come together and they're so fun and interesting along the way and of course, Lubichi's father is such a sweet character and a big personality, and he was voiced by Stephen Root in the dubbed version. Tony Hale was the garbage man, and they're just so great, and the young boy who voiced Lubichi, I'm assuming it was a young boy, could have been a young girl, but the young actor who voiced Lubichi was perfect too, and you just have this central friendship and this um, paternal bond at the core of this film that are very emotionally resonant and so fleshed out and done so well in this film. And there's definitely heavy moments and there's real poignant emotion that you feel. I felt it. This was one of the most emotional experiences I've had in a theater in a while. And I'm like, dang, from this film. It does have some familiar and predictable narrative beats. And, you know, it leans into some of those tropes. But the thing is, it's so fresh and interesting in its concept and its greater story and how it's presented. And it has exciting action sequences, especially the big climactic fight between these, like, secret police people and the chimney sweeps and this mission that Lubichi and Garbage Man go on. It's thrilling, it's exciting, it keeps you on the edge of your seat. And this is, has some great music as well that's rousing and gives me goosebumps and emotion. This is how you do family-oriented animated films right. And it has deep resonant messages. It has real emotion. It has great characters and a wonderful world. And with animation, take advantage of it. Create a world that you can get lost in, and you can get lost in this wonderfully realized world with danger around every corner, but people who care and will fight for freedom and to really preserve the 
ability to dream and look beyond the confines of the life that you're in. Popel of Chimney Town is a great anime. Please go show this some love. But those are my thoughts on the film. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.